Hey guys, what's going on? You know me, I'm going to say it. I'm going to tell you what's going on. Today, we're continuing my little series on brisket leftovers. Today, we're doing some brisket empanadas. It's going to be fun. It's going to be money. Like I always say, stick around. All right, empanadas. I found something that's gonna make this recipe a lot easier, right? Normally you do some fresh dough, lay your layers out, mixer, get all that stuff. Not anymore, check this out, I found this today. Goya empanada dough. It's already five inch puff pastry. This is for baking. Super simple to use. Why not, it can make your life easier. There's actually two different styles. One's for baking, one's for frying. Today we're baking, so these are gonna be perfect. It's gonna speed up our process, and hey, less to clean, right? Make it easier. It's gonna be tasty too. All right, let's go ahead and get this started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna season up or just flour our cutting board a little bit here, just so we're gonna lay things out. Don't need a ton of flour. I'd probably put too much, but that's all right. All right, so here's what we got. I'm really loving these pastries because they're actually individually wrapped all right they're in the freezer section you just let them throw out and you're done okay so here's what we're going to do we're going to get that laid out just like that just put a little bit of our chopped brisket in here and anyway, this is trial and error so i don't know if i got too much too little we don't want to tear it bring it over fold and this is traditionally, you just get your fork out and press to seal it, okay? Press to seal it. Just like so. And that's it. All right, let's go for another one, guys. Again, really love these because they are individually wrapped no big mess. Get that off of there, just like so. Get a little bit of our brisket in here, like so. Again, these are appetizers, right? Unless you make a whole bunch of them. Now, gonna throw in just a little bit of pico de gallo. Little onion, little tomato, little cilantro, right? Get that folded over. And pinch it. Pinch it. All right, we'll get this on a baking sheet over here. I'm gonna go ahead and do one more, real quick. Again, individually wrapped. All right, let's get this in here. Again, a little brisket, like so. Come back with a little bit of pico. Just a little bit, a little bit of bite. Right, just like that. Get this pulled over. And we want to seal it with our fork. Helps if you spin it. Again, that's just so nothing leaks out. Gonna get the rest of these finished up and then we're gonna put a wash on them, okay? Hang tight. All right, so our last step is just brush these with a little bit of egg wash, all right? Nothing crazy. Just gonna put a little color on there just to help the golden brown of it, all right? So all we gotta do, just a little bit, all right? All right, we'll get the rest of these done. Let's get them in the oven. All right, as you can see, got all the egg wash on there. They're looking good. Let's go ahead and get them to the oven. All right, our oven's set at 375 degrees. These are gonna go in there for about 18 to 20 minutes. Nice golden brown color, be good to go. All right. Be back and check in a bit. All right, time's up. Let's get these out of here. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful color. Let's go ahead and set them on here. Let them cool down for a few minutes. 
We'll cut into one and give one a taste. All right, let's go ahead and cut into this one. You can hear it crispy. Yeah. All right, let's give it a little cut, see what we got. Nice flaky crust. There you go. And steam, nice little pocket. Let's go ahead and give this a taste. Look killer, don't they? Brisket empanadas, just another way to use leftover brisket, okay? Super simple method, brought that pre-made dough, already cut, pre-cut dough, pre-cut, pre-made. You got it, right? Super easy to do. You know me, I'm all about super simple. Knocked it out of the park, I believe. I haven't tasted it yet. This is it here. Leftover brisket. Three videos so far in my series. Go back and check them out. I'm probably going to stop here with this one because I'm all out of leftover brisket. But next time I get some brisket cooked up, I'll save some aside and i continue the series that way. All right. For now, let's give this a bite. Give it a taste. Let me get a close up of that. Can you see it? Looks killer. Mm. Light, crunchy, flaky. That smokiness of the brisket is money. And actually picking up the onion and the pico de gallo that's in there. You know, even a lot, maybe a little barbecue sauce to dip in would be killer. But by itself. Guys, check it out. Appreciate you watching like always. We'll catch you on the next one.